you can update your thumbnail so it's not just a picture. If you notice, I've done it previously for these two classes, but today we're gonna make one for my physical science class. You're gonna first go to Canva. Remember, this is the one where you can get a free teacher education version if you sign up. We're gonna come up here to create a design and we're gonna put in some custom dimensions. There are multiple dimensions you can use, but to get the most crisp pictures, if you're choosing to use an image, I like to do 1000 by 560. So let me zoom in and I will once again definitely put this in the description below. But those are my dimensions that I'm using. I'm going to say create a design. It's really nice in Canva once you've got the educator account. You can pick a bunch of different options. Maybe I want it to look like this and then I can change the font. So if that's the thing you want to go with and there's plenty of different options. Let's say I want something else. You can scroll through so you can, maybe you like lemons. Notice how when I go like this, it just pops to and hugs it. You can then delete stuff. So option one, go ahead and look at the templates, see if anything interests you. Uh, maybe you like a mountain scene, okay? And then you want to put your name. Option two, which is what I used previously for my classes, I can come in, but that's really pretty too. So play around, see which ones you like. If none of the ones here uh, interest you, I like to go into photos and maybe I want to search school. Maybe you teach a specific subject, so maybe I want this one. Remember, it's going to be really small, so don't pick something super, super detailed. Uh, maybe I want something like this from an art teacher. Maybe if I'm one of the elementary school teachers, I do this and put my name above. Uh, but so I am, once again, though, making a science one. So I'm going to look through my science options. And I think, let's see. Do any of these interest me? Hmm. I think I really want a microscope. So make sure, okay. So I'm looking for a design, see how that happens. If that happens, you can just delete what you currently have. Make sure it hugs it like that. So that's a pretty nice one. Mm, I like it better than that one. Kind of like this one though, because it's more like what my students will see in my class. Once you picked a background, whether it is an actual image or it's just a plain color. So if I didn't want this instead, if I just wanted a plain color, I can come up here and just pick a nice solid color if you want. Um, but I'm going to go back by hitting Command Z right now because this is the one I want to use. From there, you can come into text. You can choose to just start writing with a text and you can change the fonts that way. Um, but what I really enjoy about Canva is they do have some of these really cool pre-combined fonts for you. Um, so I really liked this one earlier. But when I put it up, I noticed that it's kind of hard to read the sale part, and I've got to think this is a really small thumbnail. So instead, I'm going to pull them apart. So if I come up here and hit more, I can hit ungroup, and I'm just going to get rid of this sale font and just keep this one up here. So I'm going to say my class is physical science. Now, obviously, it is stretching well off my page, but I am going to stretch first all the way here. Then I come up here and I can resize it. Let's try 42, way too small. Let's see, that's well, better, but I still want my kids to really be able to find my class when they go to their dashboard. Oh, let's aim for, can I get to 140? Now, I am putting, ooh, 144 is a little too big, so I can come up here, edit. Maybe I want 135 until it fits, perfect. Some other things you can do, you can change the alignment. I like it to the left center or the left alignment here. Maybe I want there to be more spacing between physical and science. Maybe I want more spacing between the letters or maybe I want less spacing, okay? You can change that and you can always undo it if you need to. So I think mine's pretty much where I want it. If this picture, if I want to make it a little bit blurrier, I can come in here into filters Maybe I want to just white it out a little and you can change the intensity however you want. Okay, so that doesn't really fit what I want to look. Maybe I want to adjust and I want to just bring down the brightness just a little or bring it up some. Okay, you can adjust all these things. 
Maybe I want it to blur it just a little so it's a little bit blurry. I don't really want to, but I just want to show you some other options. Um, also, let's say I like this picture, but I want to make it more zoomed in. If you hit the crop button, you can zoom in, okay, and then I can maybe bring it up. And if you hit done, now it's zoomed in. Play around with the feature, see what you like, um, make it work for you. If you have multiple classes, you can just come up to this duplicate page, and maybe I want to say, because I also teach life science in seventh grade, maybe I just want to change it to life science. You're also able to change colors at that point, so maybe so that I can easily tell apart my classes, I'm going to pick an orange this time, whatever you want to make it work, maybe I don't like that and I want the green, okay? Anything that works. We're going to come up here to download once we're happy with ours. I leave it on PNG, but if your school is concerned about space, you can switch to P JPEG as well. Um, I leave everything else the same. I only want this first page because that's the one I actually need. And I hit download. So while we wait for that to download, you're going to pull up your Canvas account. So it has officially downloaded for me. I'm going to click on the class that I want to edit. So I come in here, I'm going to scroll down on my left side until I see settings. Once you click on settings, you've got this image. Right now there's nothing there because I haven't previously put one in, but we're going to upload an image. And in my download folder on my Mac, I'm going to hit open. And it's going to upload. Key thing, we come down here and we say update course details. Now, when I go back to my dashboard, I see physical science. Now, it says publish over physical science because I'm in teacher mode, but students would just see physical science. If you also want to change real quick the little colors, because I don't really think the green works with this, maybe I want to switch to the blue. And then I hit apply, and now it is good to go for all your students. Feel free to play around, and let me see what